prequel, India. Oh no. I think everyone should have an hour for lunch. Whether an or not owl. you want to eat. An owl? No, no, an hour. An, an hour. hour. An hour. <laughs> on Queen Charlotte, most of the blooper reel was me falling on everything. Love a bit of sci-fi. Just ruined. Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story is an incredible story all on its own. This Netflix series is a prequel spin-off of the Netflix series Bridgerton and focuses on young Queen Charlotte's rise to prominence and power. Corey and India, we have to talk about the chemistry. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, Stand. she says it. So it was just amazing. <laughs> 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 that's, no, that's, those are the we words that you watched it with your mother. India, you we did. Yeah, my mum stayed completely silent, and then the next night we watched *Lethal Weapon*, <laughs> where Mel Gibson's uh, bum was out, and, uh, so and I remember. Awesome. And then, so the only thing that she said was, "You got a nicer bum than Mel." Today we'll be showing you the behind the scenes moments as far as bloopers are concerned and the many interviews they did playing numerous amount of games offset. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. You think? Oh, I'm big mouth. Really? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to put one up. I don't really know. So it's definitely not you then. You as your character. Hell yeah. But yeah. like it's such a good time on set. There's no gossip. So I don't know. Don't laugh. <laughs> But before we get into more of these moments, some trivia for you. What book adaption did the show Bridgerton come from? Leave your guesses in the comments down below and stick around to the end of the video to find out if your answer was correct. We had a really good time and we haun haunted. I almost told the whole... Um, the <laughs> no, whole no, that's what I want to get to. Yeah. And the lights off when she was in the shower. In the shower. Really dangerous. What if yeah. I'm not funny. shaving? Yeah, exactly. Looking behind the scenes of what this is all about, Sam Clement took fans behind the scenes, taking us all the way back to when she first starred in Bridgerton back in 2020. Clement portrays a younger version of the new series Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story, streaming now. My go-to snack is, <laughs> it's a mix of like a, a, a never-ending bowl of grapes, usually like, uh, I'd go for a mix, red, green, red, black, I do not discriminate. It's such a fun, witty, joyous series to be a part of that when I got the opportunity to learn who Brimsley was and play him, I grabbed it with both hands, he said. He went on to praise his makeup and hairdresser that he saw every day when filming and had a great vision for all of the characters. James is amazing, and uh, I met him halfway through filming. By, How did you meet him? By, uh, yeah, I was in floods of tears, yeah. and I hugged him, and I said, that was brilliant and beautiful. And I think he said, who are you? Without her, my days wouldn't have been so easy in the beginning of each week. I'd be in the chair for about an hour, but every other day it'd be about 30 minutes. Then I'd get into costume, have a bit of breakfast, and go into rehearsal, he continued. Who is most likely to spend hours in hair and makeup? I wonder. Me. Yeah. Or Golda. Yes. Um, the wigs. The wigs. It was the wigs and Do I had- Do you wear wigs? Have you seen that? No. Okay. I have no idea what you're talking about, but no I can't worries. wait. The rest of the cast, like India, Armada Fio, and Corey Mochrist, who play young Queen Charlotte and young King George, join together to play a round of MTV's yearbook. So but I went to the wrong the place. I went to the wrong place. You, you never know said that. No, no, I no, did. no, you never no, said that. I did. I did. Get I'm... that finger out my face because you never said that. <laughs> I you definitely did that. say that. I, I was in the wrong place and I was waiting and I sent a text saying, where are you guys? This also happens a lot. Bowling the other day, you were yep. waiting in the wrong place. Who's the, what's the next question? <laughs> we can tell from all these games that they play behind the scenes during interviews that this cast is pretty close offset. And it's great when a cast like this is so close. Uh, and I live at home still with my mum. Don't know why I looked at you guys. Did you, did you ever hear back from Queen Charlotte? And she was like cutting into her little halloumi and I was like, yeah, I, I actually landed it today. And she just stopped. <laughs> she was like... <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, we got little Prosecco flutes instead of tea, which was nice. But it was very chill, very low-key. We also wanted to give a shout out to our Marvel Monday winner. If you guys didn't know, we asked a challenging Marvel-related trivia question over on our community tab. If you answer it correctly, you get a chance to have your answer featured here in one of our videos. You know what? Yeah, it actually is, Sam. Think it is? I was going to say you, but you're so right, Sam. Yeah. I think it's Sam. Why is it? But it's definitely he's him. Old, but he's older. Sam's like married. Yeah, has a he's house. married, has a house. Cooks, yeah, cleans, brilliantly. Cleans. 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 I clean. Mm. I clean. Mm -hmm. And fun fact about this franchise, both Sam and Corey auditioned to play King George. Sam even auditioned for about five characters over the course of Bridgerton, including Colin Bridgerton. Just saying, held. Saying please and thank you. What not, is this? Not even. I've never seen a door like this in my life. <laughs> oh my god. What is that? I've never seen a door like that. It's <laughs> like a... Do we 
four avocados every two days, maybe? Like mm. avocado on toast every That's day. Such a weird way of, I four avocados every two days. Yes. Not two avocados every day. I, 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 iced tea. I. Sorry. He was actually offered a small part in Bridgerton, but his agent suggested that he turn it down to await something bigger, which he was then grateful for as he wouldn't have played Brimsley. And actually, oh. I, I do a couple of singing numbers in this. Um, but not yeah. 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 He has it's a George. lovely voice. Does he? No, I don't. no, 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 I, I Phenomenal. truly do not. Um, yeah, sing no, as you do, George. though. Don't, you don't say. bring them to me. As some of you may know, Shonda Rhimes was the showrunner and writer of the spinoff who also served as the executive producer. And even though this is a miniseries consisting of only six episodes, there were a ton of opportunities for the cast to fool around on set. But it's like one of the first times I was relaxed enough to, to listen to everything and going on. This story you tell, Freddie. No, Freddy, you that's, tell, that's, you so tell. that's Reynolds giving the ring, right? That's Freddie giving the ring. It comes to the point where he's meant to uh, give us the job. rings. We turn around and he's not there. Because he's watching. watching. Whether it's forgetting their lines, as a lot of actors tend to do sometimes, this fiction inspired by fact storyline consisted of a lot of backstory and heart within of how these youngins became rulers. I had molds put onto my face. Molds? Molds of her molds. Oh, okay. Yeah. Molds of molds. There we go. Mol mole Say molds. Say five times. Mole molds? Mm-hmm. Mole molds, mole molds. Mole molds, mole molds, mole molds. That was impressive. Well no, done. it wasn't. Anyone can do that. And when we look at these two behind the camera, it's clear that they do have a lot of chemistry. I think you would like the idea. See that smile? <laughs> yeah. I just love love. Yeah. I love love. In a game of who's most likely to, we get even more laughs with the cast's answers to the questions. Is it costume jewelry or is that was that actually real? It's not real. No, it's not real. No, it's not real. No, it's not real. No. No. Not. Yours was real. Yeah. Yours was full Mine was real. We grand. found out it was real when you and Freddie were playing catch with it. <gasps> Mm -hmm. I can't even remember doing mm -hmm. that. And my dress was like, and she was like, <laughs> It's great to see these two, Corey Maltrest and Freddie Dennis, who plays the Kingsman, and who actually share an apartment together, play a very fitting game of the best friend game. And their answers get pretty funny, more so because they live together. Three, two, one. Or oh, any food that belongs to Corey. That's actually so true. <laughs> Drop. Uh, no. Dry granola, that's absolutely well, what true. Said, loud crunch, I don't crunch. And going back into the cast and hilarious moments, we get to hear from the young king and queen themselves, and an interesting question was brought up of an uncomfortable position to be in, but they made it be something to laugh at. I actually watched the show with my mum. Yeah, okay. me too. Have you? Mm. Have you really? Yeah. And I, I think for me, the first time I watched it, I don't know about you, but I couldn't. I couldn't believe that it was me, and I couldn't watch. I was like it's hands like behind the eyes. Oh, it's, uh, it yeah, was, yeah, it's it was. Awful. It's the worst feeling it's in the world. Bad. India Armadillo continues on this uncomfortable conversation with other interviews and still makes it into a funny story. Just some of the scenes are a little bit steamy. The racy scenes. A bit racy. Yeah. A bit um, uh, not for the eyes. Ha um, Your mom is actually here. Uh, I know tonight. We yeah. watched it together. Uh huh. Um, bonding and? experience like no other. And when you look closely at this trailer, it's clear that it is a very powerful story, but with some comedy within between the king and queen once they meet. Which of your castmates smells the nicest? <laughs> Do you know who smells the nicest, I think? Yeah, I think I might know her. <laughs> is Tom. And as far as the answer to our trivia question, the show was adapted from Julia Quinn's novels. Since 2000, romance novelist Julia Quinn has published eight books in her Bridgerton series. The author began the series with The Duke and I and finished it with On the Way to the Wedding in 2006. They gave me like armpit pads, like just to soak up the amount of sweat because I too am a very sweaty person. Ice packs, I had a lot of ice packs down my front, down my back. They used to peg up my dress um, so that I could have some wind going on. What did you have? Sometimes fans. And if we go back into the original series, supposedly Bridgerton will return for a third and fourth season. Even after this six episode miniseries, Shonda Rhimes, the showrunner, released a statement detailing her excitement for the upcoming seasons. Well, mate, Every, no, last, last, last week it was India time. So, but we won't go I into mean, that because it's on time, camera, but... you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I heard <laughs> owl as well. I'm very vegetarian. Oh. That would be horrendous. Um, not an owl, an hour. 
For the first time I read Julia Quinn's Bridgerton series, I knew there were stories that would captivate a viewing audience. But the evolution of this adaption would not be a success without the many significant contributions of the entire Shondaland team, she said. Three, two, one. But no. Yeah. We're very professional, all of us. Mm. Hang on. I was trying to be nice then. <laughs> Hang now, on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> now I'm going to be rude. Um, it is most likely to be you, but yeah. I, you oh. still... So what do you guys think about all these moments? Which one was your favorite? And what do you think about this prequel spinoff? Let us know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on for more videos just like this. That's it for today, though. We'll see you all next time with a brand new video. Bye, guys. I'm a bitter individual. Stirry, stirry. You see, and this is the thing that I like. Just kind of do this and you wrap it around itself. You, you squeeze it out, but then you just kind of- Oh, 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 Jesus, oh, 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 gosh. What's going on? I like my tea like my life. A little messy. <sighs>